Did I not press the record button? Like, what the hell? Okay. Hey, y'all. Y'all have no idea how excited I am about this. I've just been, like, elated. And I want to do, like, jumping jacks and, like, all the little happy things. But, um, for y'all who missed it, this is what's been going on for the past week. I don't know what happened, but on, like, Sunday or Saturday of last week, for some reason, my Google Chrome would not let me upload videos. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I don't know if they booted my ass out or if they just say, you know what, this is, this is fuckery. We canceling your ass. I don't know what the hell it was. But they basically fucking cut me off. So I have been trying to figure out ways to upload videos. I've been trying it every morning, like, faithfully. I would go pee, come sit at this computer, and try to upload a video, and nothing would happen again. So now, oh, new accessory, y'all. I got it re-pierced. I had it pierced before, but... I just got redone. And excuse my scruffy face. But, um, so that's what's been going on. I finally found a way to clearly upload videos. I have to use fucking Firefox, which I've never used before. So I'm actually uploading on YouTube camera. That's why everything is switched backwards. Like, my head is not blocking that janky ass picture. So, um, yeah, I have so many. I did, like, I record, like, Four videos and I just couldn't upload them which really pissed me off so I don't remember which notes are for the Real Housewives from this week let's see okay yeah these are this week so I'm gonna run through it I hope it's not like dry quality video because they're not as spur in the moment as they were before before like the ones I recorded already but hopefully I can still keep it good and you guys still love me I hope. So, here... Maybe 60. Glasses. Okay, so, here we go. This is the Real Housewives, Real Housewives of Atlanta. The last episode from last week. This is so late, but... <laughs> hopefully somebody watches it. Okay, so here's how the episode started. With Kim and Croy going to the gun range. And Croy is obsessed with guns and having his his son, his new son, whatever Kim's son's name is. I don't know if it's Croy Jr. or whatever. He's obsessed with him having a gun before he's two and shooting a deer before he's 12. So they went to find Kim a gun, too. And Kim doesn't care as long as it's pink. She's really not a big fan of guns, but as long as it's pink, she'll do it. And she was pretty good at it, too, especially with the big, the rifle-looking gun. You know, like the big one that you put on your shoulder and then you pile. I don't, know, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a rifle or a bazooka or something like that. So then we switched over to Cynthia. Cynthia and Peter went out. This ain't the episode where they went dancing. That was the last episode. This is the episode where they went to lunch with Phaedra and Apollo. Now, first of all, if they're going out to lunch with anybody, they need to be going by themselves and talking about their effed up ASS marriage because it's on the goddamn rocks. And I mean on the rocks as in like, you know how by in the water in the ocean, like in exotic areas where there's like a cliff and there's a rocks at the bottom. That's what type of rocks their relationship is on. But they went to go and fix their little altercation that Apollo and Peter had at Kim's baby shower in BTW. I think Apollo would have fucking mopped the floor with Peter. Just putting my bets in. Um, and I think they broke ass and made Phaedra and then pay because I think they left first. That ain't right. Y'all know y'all ain't got no money. So, um, um, everybody knows Cynthia's looking for all the advice. Oh, and she needs to go to church and quit. As she always, for some reason, whenever Cynthia's with anybody, like anybody, she'll ask anybody for fucking advice. Like, oh, what do you do if your marriage is on the rocks and you feel like we don't communicate? You need to be asking Jesus what the hell to do because clearly, anybody else finna help your ass. So you need to get in touch with capital H I M. Maybe he'll steer you in the right direction. Moose Nini, trash bag. Maybe I was calling her a trash bag. I don't know. But it says trash bag. Let me bring the camera down. So please take it back. Okay, there we go. So that says trash bag. Her and that man are, born, are boning. Oh, her and that creepy man. They was at this like business meeting. He's always buying her gifts. And let me tell you something. You don't just buy women gifts. Just men. We don't just buy women gifts. Just spur in the moment. As much as you see it in movies, that shit don't really happen. We don't just buy women gifts just because they bone it. Nene and that Italian man that 
makes pizzas for a living is boning. I'll say it if you want, they're boning. Um, and her and this celebrity apprentice that she keeps bringing up and letting everybody know she was on, we seen you. It was probably the highly rated season of The Apprentice because your loud ghetto ass was on it. I have something stuck right there. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. So, that's it. And her smile annoys me. Um, Candy and Phaedra went African dancing and it was hilarious. Um, Kim went back to that psychic and told, the psychic told her, the one that she went to, that said she was going to meet Croy and have a son. The psychic told her that she's going to have another girl, like another daughter. Let me tell y'all something. If that psychic is right, I'm packing my shit, moving to Atlanta, and going to see that same psychic because I need to know a couple of things. If this is the second time that psychic would have been right. Well, third, because she said she was going to meet Croy. She said she was going to have a boy, and now she says she's going to have a girl. So if that psychic is right again, I'm going down there. To, what's her name? Rose? Rose. That's the psychic name, Rose. I'm looking you up, Rose. I'm going to put you on Zaba, and I'm going to look you up. Okay, Phaedra, Phaedra and Sheree went to some African museum and were showing their ass where I'm at. Oh, I'm doing good. I need to start running through videos more often. Um, Phaedra and Sheree went to the African American History Museum, apparently, and were molesting a mannequin who was a slave. And um, the lady who was giving the tour was like, I don't know about these two. And I love how bougie Phaedra is. I don't think Phaedra is bougie. I think that's just the way she is. And it comes off bougie. But I love it. That's why she's my favorite. Um, okay, Candy. Mama Candy came back on this episode. They went out to dinner to try to... They all came together. I don't think the intention of them all going to dinner was to try to patch their little... Their little crew up. Because who wasn't there? Phaedra wasn't there. But Mama Candy was trying to get um, Kim and Nene and Sheree to talk again, which you really can't force grown people to, like, talk. Like, out of respect, yeah, they might speak to each other, but they're not about to carry no full conversation. I don't know why she thought she was. And what annoys me the most is Kim and Sheree was cordial, said, hi, Nene. Nene just in there. Hi. Hi. With that, that irking ass smile. You know, her smile is like the Joker. Like, it, it haunts you in your sleep. It's, it's, I just can't. And wait, they were talking about the Africa trip that I'm going to tell you about. They're supposed to be going to Africa. And everybody's going. Nene didn't want to go. But um, Sheree told Nene to have some damn culture. And when I tell you I died <laughs> at that very moment. <laughs> I tell people now to have some culture because I find that so funny. Culture and polish. Have some culture and polish. So that's what happened. And on next week, they're going to get ready to go to um, Africa. And Nene is bringing Marlo's ass. When Marlo got out that limo, I want to die. I was like, oh, my God. I'm telling you, she's going to be the next housewife. So, oh, and BTW, I updated my Real Housewife favor list. So in the last, like, at the beginning of the season, I had my favorite housewives list. It has been changed because a couple of people pissed me off. A couple of people got back on my good style, but it's changed. So here we go. My least favorite housewife is still Cynthia. She's annoying as fuck. Marlo is my second least favorite because I believe she's going to be a housewife next season. So Nene comes in above Marlo. Um, then we have Candy because Candy is getting boring to me. Like, am I the only one who thinks that? If so, let me know. But I think Candy is just like drifting away at sea. Physically, not physically, but mentally. Like this whole country album thing, she is crazy. Um, Sheree is my number three top housewife. Kim is number two because I love her. I think I'm starting to like Kim more. I used to couldn't stand Kim, but now I like her. And y'all know Phaedra is number one because I love Phaedra. So that's it. That's the Real Housewives of Atlanta review. That y'all was supposed to get last week. And that's awkward. I'm scratching this ear, but in the camera, like in real life, I'm scratching over here. That's weird. Okay. But that's it for that. Um, next up will be the alumni video that I'll 
we recorded. This will be the fifth time I've recorded this damn video. So get ready for that. All right, y'all. Peace.